Hello everyone, welcome back to Bowler's Gate 3. So, in today's video, I am actually thought that... So, uh, I've kind of been romancing Shadowheart, not on purpose, but it just happened. <clears throat> Sorry about that, been a little sick, but anyways. So, I've decided that I think it's going to be an interesting... If I decide to change my class from a bard to a paladin. Plus, I've never played as Paladin, so I'm interested to see how that'll work. So, we need to head to camp and talk to Withers about changing my class. And then, uh, I can get some supplies off of Karlak that she still has that might work better. Like the hammer she has and such. Yeah, as you can see, thing like the outlines of the characters, they are a little like, you know, not as detailed. But I think I rather have that in these videos than have ninety percent of them just be the, just be a couple of shots that are lagging. Okay, but anyways, let me find Withers. Uh, he's not over there, so I think he's gonna be over here where Will is. No. I'll have, like, a money bag icon. Where is he? Am I missing something? Where is he? I have the necklace, which obviously, like, this. Which means I, like, I obviously woke him up as well. But where is he? Weird. Oh, there he is. Was he here this entire time and just didn't load? Well, whatever. Let's Stop talk to discussion. Him. We meet again, as predicted. I don't think I've talked to him yet since he came to camp. I shall be here in thy camp for whenever thou hast need of my services. You help me change my class, won't you, Bolts? As thou desire. Plus, I think some, like, the one buff. Uh, I forget which one it, it is. Basically, it is really helpful with probably someone who would be up close in a battle. Which a bard really isn't. So, now that we have a paladin, uh, okay, so my strength is now going to become up, go up, but my intelligence is going to go down, okay, so my charisma is still kind of good, so that, okay, plus I do, I also have some healing, which could be very helpful, plus, as I said, I think it'll be very interesting between the relationship between, um, me and Shadowheart, because they do know that, um, if you, you know, because there are differences between their, uh, between Shadowheart's, um, uh, beliefs, I will, you know, try to do my best and change my gear, but anyways, fighting style... that um yep 
Yeah, I think I'm gonna just stick with these. Oh, and I speak with animals. Feet, um, let's do heavy armor mastery. No, yeah, let's actually, no, that's not right. I should do this so I gain proficiency with heavy armor. And then my next feat should be heavy armor proficiency. Yeah, really, it's just my these two pieces that I need to change. Let's change that to that. And where is that armor? Oh, well, I guess we should change the helmet as well. Oh, no, it's still here. Okay, whatever. Now that I'm a paladin, I want to see if uh, if I have any new dialogue with Shadowheart or anything. And then, if not, or afterwards, we're going to head back, head back and just continue exploring. All's well, I hope. Of course, unless something's the matter. No. I just wanted to see how you felt after the night we spent together. When we talked. And kissed. The night meant a lot to me, and I hope there's more to come. I hope so too. Though I'm not sure what kind of courtship we'll be afforded, given all that we're facing. But if you want to see where this goes, I do as well. Dang. There's a lot to talk about. You seemed, you seemed interested when Helsin mentioned the Dark Justicia before. I was. He mentioned Dark Justicias, and we've come across other signs of a Sharon presence during our travels. I'm not sure I can dismiss that as a coincidence. get to know each other a little more. Must we? No harm in a little mystery, don't you think? We have to rely on each other. It's easier if we know each other well. Easy is often less interesting. Besides, we've plenty of reason to rely on each other already. You can't confide in just anyone about a monster in your head.
Maybe I'd like to n know you better. Sweet of you, but don't worry. I'm sure you'll get to know me just fine by traveling together. No need for interrogations just yet. If that's what you prefer, I'll respect that. Thank you. I'm sure we'll get along perfectly well. The artifact... Sorry. That artifact seems to be protecting us somehow. Do you still have it? You could say that. And yes, I still have it. Curious. What happens... What happened? Sorry. Curious. Curious that you happen to have an item that can protect us. How did you come by it? I suppose, if we're going to keep helping each other, I might as well tell you. I was part of a group sent to retrieve it. Bring it to Baldur's Gate for our goddess. I worship Shah, the mistress of the night. It's my mission to deliver the artifact to her secret cloister in Baldur's Gate. <laughs> it hurts. Now that you have the truth, please don't make a big fuss about it. I don't care who you worship, we have bigger problems. True. I didn't think you'd react so pragmatically. Perhaps I should have told you sooner. In the future, I expect you to be honest. Let's leave it at that for now. Gladly. Or were you in pain before? The wound on my hand. It never quite heals. And sometimes it causes terrible pain to rip through me. It's my burden, though, from Lady Shah. I can feel her influence somehow. What causes it to hurt you? Difficult to say. Sometimes I wonder if it's supposed to be guiding me, punishing me, testing me. But perhaps it's none of those. Perhaps it's completely random. I'd like to hope there's more to it than that. Some meaning that Lady Shah will reveal to me when the time is right. Until then, all I can do is endure. Is there anything I can help you with? I don't think so, but you're sweet to ask. Maybe just be patient the next time you see me wince or cry out. It'll pass quickly enough. It always does. Pain is sacred to followers of Lady Shah. Pain will give way to loss and then to the peace of her eternal darkness. You can tolerate a great deal of suffering so long as it has meaning. Why would Char subje Charm subject you to such a thing? I cannot say. Not with what I can recall. But even then, it would not be for me to question her will. Lady Shah has her reasons. These illicit powers we're developing. What do you think of them? On one hand, they seem useful. But on the other hand, or perhaps tentacle before long, we know where they're coming from and what lies at the end of that path. I never expected Ceramorphosis to be tempting. I think we should resist these powers. 
There's simply too many unknowns for us to risk it. Odds are stacked. The odds are stacked against us. We can't afford to ignore these potential advantages. I see it as more a case of wisely avoiding a potential threat. My mind is set. Well, on that note, I'd like to thank you all for watching this video. I know it's kind of been like just me talking to Shadow War for the most part, but I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you like and subscribe and have a great day. See you guys in the next one. Bye.